What's up guys, Goro here and welcome back to another 6pm content video where today we are back for week 2 of Make Your Mark. Hopefully this is going to be a much better week in terms of content, in terms of pack weight. So we're going to dive into the brand new team and see what we get for today. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that being said, let's get into today's 6pm content. And so here we go. As I say... Brand new week. Last week was poor, but this week should be good. We have a lot of brand new cards available. We're going to go through all of these in a second. There's a lot here. Trent being one of the main ones, which I absolutely love. Um, on top of that, uh, Make Your Mark continues with, obviously, the Euros and Common Ball. That started last night. Well, there was the night before as well, to be honest with you. Don't know which one. I think it was last night it started. Uh, Argentina versus Canada being 2-0 to Argentina. So, obviously, there's a lot of upgrades. McAllister's got the full chem. Uh, I think we've had the 97 to Paul now. Crespo's got an upgrade, all of that type of stuff. So there's loads of really good things already. Um, obviously, we already know what in terms of the uh, upgrades are for Make Your Mark. We've got Academy Defenders now. Two of these available for each ones in terms of obviously um, using, uh, is it Euros and then two for the Copper normally. We'll check that out in a second. We'll open the pack first though, uh, just to obviously see what players are available. Obviously, people want Argentina um, because of the new Evo. We have the availability of Foyth, which would be an interesting one. Sadly, no pictures. But Harry Maguire, you will be able to make a 95 rated. Sule's in there, which would be good. Uh, Hernandez, which I think would be a really good card. Dest in there, which wouldn't be too bad. Quadrado, which obviously a lot of people want. And Tadebo, which would be very usable as well. So, again, some decent little cards in there already. But I can see a lot of people using this Foyth card, especially because of his old positions. Uh, he will be, obviously, much better. Even people using his 87 rated will probably happen. But... We're going to check out content. We're going to see what we get. Now, personally for me, I'm not a fan of the uh, Argentina Evo. Uh, sorry, not Argentina Evo. Argentina Objective. I'm not going to be doing it this week. I'm going to be sitting this one out because I do not think... As much as this Nuno Mendes card is good, and obviously it would help for the Portugal Objective next week, I don't think it's good enough in terms of the rewards you get. If you were getting multiple cards here or multiple guaranteed packs, fine. But you're not. So to me, it's not worth it at all. We're going to get Magica coming in for Make Your Mark. Uh, it is very simple to do. Three La Liga players in your team to win a few games. A few clean sheets here, there, and everywhere. And again, not a bad little card on him. Five star, three, uh, sorry, five star, four star, actually. Uh, can play left mid, left back, left wing, which is quite nice. Uh, left wing back, that is not left wing. Uh, again, decent little card. Obviously, if he can get a few upgrades with him being Colombian, that might happen. Uh, we've also got the Festival of Football Cup Part 2. So again, just winning 12 games in that, scoring goals and playing games. Again, these packs aren't great. But at least it's something that you're actually doing from doing some things. We've got the daily login SBC, which is nice. These packs are, again, semi-decent. Nothing spectacular, but an 83 times 20 at the end is not too bad. So at least EA have done something with that. In terms of XP here, yeah, nothing new because obviously that normally happens on a Thursday. We didn't do a video yesterday because we only got a Benucci flashback, which I don't think is worth it in my opinion um, in terms of doing a video anyway. Have we got anything? I think we have. Elite Quartet. I don't know if this is new yesterday or new today. Or we already had this. No, we already had this. Uh, ignore me. We already had that. I don't know why I thought it was new. Uh, but I would presume we might have a brand new normal Evo as well. Maybe EA do that every so often. The Defenders ones here as well. We only have... Oh no, we do have two for each. That's actually alright. Uh, nothing new in terms of like sort of Evos in itself. But... You can actually put some of the forwards into the defenders Evo, which I don't think is obviously worth it. But if you're really after like a defensive Jean Mario, that's not actually a bad card. Um, in terms of that Harry Maguire, I feel like he's one that most people want. This is actually quite just a fun card to have, in all honesty. Um, I think Hernandez will be very usable. He probably has all positions as well. Yeah, left back, left wing back. Again, this is actually quite a decent card to have in its centre-back. So, again, not the worst one to have. But, yeah, a lot of good options in terms of chucking maybe some of the attackers in or midfielders. I feel like the likes of a Casemiro in the defenders one could make him somewhat usable. Obviously, he could go into the attackers one as well. Uh, it would be interesting to see. I presume he would fit, yeah, into this. So, this Casemiro, 99 defending on him, 93 passing, is actually a very nice card. The only thing is he's 3-star, 5-star, but... 
not the worst thing in the world. He does have a decent defending play styles as well. So again, a card that you could easily play in there. Um, as I say, this Foyth card, a lot of people will want this card. Very good in terms of his base stats there as well. But I think Casemiro might be a good little option to add in there as well. So that is Evos. We'll check out the SBC for today. It is going to be 23 hours left on drug, but if you want them, get them done. I, I gotta be honest with you, I'm sort of not disinterested in this game, but when you've got the likes of Adara Nunes, 96 rated, I will be completing this card instead. 87, 88, 89, and then a 90 rated team. So not too difficult to complete over the week. Um, obviously, there has been a lot of these cards released. And there's a lot of expensive cards to do right now. So I'm not doing everything like I was back in the day. I'm literally doing what I want when I can. And if I can't do a card, then so what? It is what it is. In a month's time, we're going to be able to open unlimited packs for unlimited amounts of hours, packing every single special card that has been on the game anyway. So it really makes no difference. But I will be completing Darwin Nunes because, again, if Uruguay can go somewhat far, uh, with the, they haven't got the upgrades on here, but, again, he get chemistry in my team anyway. I want him for weekend league, so I will be doing him. Um, in terms of everything else for today, though, do we have anything that EA could have snuck in there for a bit of extra content? We've got Onana and uh, Mailemski coming in. Uh, he is semi-decent. Probably should be fairly cheap, I would guess. 84 rated, 85 rated team of the week, team of the season, not too bad. Onana coming in. I think this card could be very good with a nice upgrade. Finally, a special card for Everton. They've not had one for a while and they don't really get many this season. Uh, 86 rated and team of the week, team of the season needed there. So, again, fairly easy to do these. 79 times 3 best of nation upgrades as well are here. Uh, Make your mark daily challenge for a rare mega pack. That's actually probably worth it. This was the Benucci from yesterday. Again, it's a nice card, four play styles on him, 96 rated sense back, actually very usable. Getting him on chemistry might be a bit of a problem, but it shouldn't be the worst thing in the world, especially if you can sort of link him into some of the new cards. And then we've got a brand new team that we still need to check out. Now, we're not going to go through every single card meticulously going through every single stat on them. However, what we can do is we'll just get up a picture of each of the teams. EA have released them, which is great for us. Um, so these are the Euro cards that we have. So we have Vert, Doku, Carvajal, Hoyland, Canate, which I would love, Mendy as well, which would be fantastic, Trent, Danzo, Di Ketelaer, João Neves, Testegen in there, which I think is quite good. I doubt we'll see an upgrade on him, but if he does play, that would be quite nice to obviously get a high-rated goalkeeper. Kostic, Brozier, Ozcan, um, Ferrati, Stasnisic, Frankowski, Rinders, and Kearney, I think, is the bottom one. I can't quite read the names, to be honest with you. This is a lot easier to read. We've got Rodrigo coming in, who will be fantastic. David, Musa, Machado, who obviously had that 85-rated card at the start of the game. One of them. I am going to sneeze, so I do apologise in a second. We've got Vasquez, Cesaro, Cascante. <coughs> do apologise. This is what happens when you're recording live. Uh, we've got Murillo, uh, Sosa, Cadiz, and Castillo. So, again, some pretty good-looking cards in here, which, again, I can't really complain too much at. But, again, it's not like, oh, my God, these are the best things in the world sort of cards. Anyway, with that being said, what we are going to do is we're going to hop back over into the store in a second uh, because I want to pack especially Trent and especially Canate. Both of those cards need to come in my team. There is also meant to be a rumoured um, fourth Liverpool card at some point. I'm not too sure when, but we will see what's what. Uh, but for now, let's hop into the store. So we've got the two new Make Your Mark Nano Packs. We'll open, obviously, these see what we get. We can also use a few Evos with these points. Um, again, I just want to see brand new flares. Hopefully, this time, they're going to be easier to pack. It would be better if they are. Uh, we're going to take Ozcan here. Again, not a bad little card. Could be worse. Uh, this Modric is probably going to be annoying, but hey-ho, I'm just going to discard it for now. It is what it is. There's a thing called Quick Travel Covers, and I can get him back at some point. Uh, we'll do the second Nano Pack, and it's not going to be a special flare. I have a feeling these might be impossible to pack again. Again, these packs are nice for 100 thief points. It's not the worst thing in the world. I'm going to take... Tessie or Danzo? Do you know what? We're going to take Danzo. Why not? Again, Austria playing right now, drawing one all. Uh, I think he's played already, so he should get full chemistry. Uh, obviously, he played against France, um, so obviously that is already done for him. So again, if they can get a few wins and stuff, wouldn't be too bad. Uh, but what we will do is we'll open the Make Your Mark Week 2 Foundations pack. It doesn't guarantee that you get any of the new special cards. It's a 56% chance of a Copa America, but only a 27% chance of a Euros card. In terms of the best packs, I feel like 
what this one's probably the best and the weight on these is so poor i don't understand why ea made path to glory so good and these so poor but we are going to get a copper america card it is going to be belgium center mid kevin de bruyne premium fodder that is very nice the question is who is with him ea Suazo, who doesn't look the greatest, but at least it's a special card. Uh, can't really complain too much. A lot of fodder in this pack, which is really nice. Plus, we get two more loans, which we will finish things off with. We'll take Rounders in in that one. Again, decent looking card. I think he's already played, so he gets Max Chem. And then we do get Hoyland. Again, a brand new card who looks very good to use. One and a half million coins on the market so far. We've only packed one. Not the best one, not the worst one. Nice bit of fodder to obviously help with Darwin Nunes. That's why we're doing these points, by the way. Uh, but for now, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Let me know what you guys are getting down below. And I'm out. Peace.